Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And today we are taking a look at two nice techniques for Town Hall 12 that'll help you get that three star. Uh, it's gonna be a quick video, but these are two things that I think are things not many people know about or are using, but they really can help. And you can apply it to Town Hall 11 as well. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. This first one is a Laloon uh, tip and we're gonna use Surge's attack as a very good example of it. Um, there's two types of Sui Lalos. You can drop the Battle Blimp first to uh, take out like an Inferno and maybe an air defense with some balloons in it, and then use that to also lure the CC and kill whatever's in the CC with your heroes. Um, or you can drop your heroes first and use the Battle Blimp as part of the Laloon. And that is the type we're focusing on here. And the actual technique is instead of bringing balloons or a lava hound in your battle blimp, you're going to bring dragons. And that will help you kill the queen. It'll also uh, help kill air skellies, any lingering CC troops, um, because the CC was not lured in this base. Let me pause for a second to make that point. Sometimes the CC is difficult to lure out. Um, there's not great value from using a suicide battle blimp. Um, then you can just bring the dragons and use those uh, to kill the queen and CC. He actually has a skeleton spell just to help because um, the CC is a small CC. It's a lot for the dragons to do that and the queen. I'll go ahead and resume this here. But you just send in the battle blimp as part of your Laloon. And I think in this case, it may be deployed a little bit early because it got shot down by like an air defense or something. But one of the dragons stays in the middle, takes out the queen, that's all you need, and also grabs those CC troops. I think the CC baby dragon got a little wild here and was able to get away somehow. Um, yeah, it looks like, oh no, never mind, the big dragon killed it. That's the next attack where the CC baby dragon causes some trouble. But um, that's the power of using the dragons. They're much more reliable than any kind of spells you can try to use to kill the CC and or queen. So yeah, just send in your battle blimp along with everything else. And um, you can deploy it if needed, but oftentimes it'll deploy by itself once it gets destroyed. So it's kind of a balance of getting it to tank just enough don't deploy it too early because then the dragons will get targeted as soon as the battle blimp dies. Deploy it so they kind of come out naturally um, at roughly the same time as they encounter the queen. And there should be lava hounds, balloons, tanking uh, with rages. of it, um, Those dragons are very, very powerful at level 7. So that's one uh, technique you can use. Also great for dips. If you're dipping as a Town Hall 12 a lot um, onto Town Hall 11s, it's a very surefire way to make sure that you don't do anything stupid and not kill the CC and the Queen because those are really what ruins the dips. Uh, you have plenty to take out the defenses, but sometimes it'll be those actual troops and heroes inside the base that cause trouble. So these dragons are a great thing for dips. Works best at Town Hall 12 because um, you have uh, space for two dragons, 40 troop space instead of just uh, one dragon and something else. So. This next technique is using a Electro Dragon as your funnel. Once again, this also applies to Town Hall 11. Now you typically wanna drop one balloon first. It's worth it, that five troop space, because um, you don't wanna hit a Seeking Air Mine. Never know where they are. And the balloon also helps on that mortar there. So uh, basically, if there's not an air defense, if there's only like an Archer Tower, um, only two defenses on the Electro Dragon, that's gonna be okay, it has a lot of hit points. It creates a very, very nice funnel uh, for the 30 troop space it costs. So you can see it grabs two defenses. It's getting you know far into the base, taking out layers of defenses, getting um, that second layer, which is important for funneling the queen. So this is a great thing to use for Sui Lalo attacks as well. But it also applies to ground attacks, just to any attack in general, where you got to create the funnel. And once again, this is a great tip for dipping. Um, if you're a 12 dipping an 11 or an 11 dipping a 10, the funnel is another thing that can mess up your attack and cause you to have a dip fail. So this is a great way to make sure you get that funnel. You can use it on one side or both sides, but typically just one side's all you need, whatever is harder. As long as there's not an air defense or a bunch of uh, you know expo archer tower coverage, you can use it there, get a very nice funnel. Um, it'll cost you in troop space, but on a dip, you can afford that um, because 
it's it's more about making sure you don't make any big mistakes like not having your king and your queen and like all your bowlers go into the base rather than just spending a little extra troop space to ensure that they do. Um, but it also works for these straight up 12v12s, of course. You can see this base was crushed. Nice use of the battle blip at the end there to kind of get in there and get this last compartment taken out. Very good stuff to the Wanderer from North Watchers. And this is the one where that baby dragon just stayed up like the entire attack. Just nothing could seem to kill it. I think it does go down at the very end just before the attack ends. Or maybe it stays up the entire attack. I don't know. I guess, yeah, it does go down. Uh, so anyway, that'll do it for this video. Like I said, quick two tips. You have the uh, use of the dragons in the battle blimp as well as that electro dragon to funnel. I've seen this a little bit, but I think it could be used more and it's a great technique for 12v12, 11v11, and those dips uh, especially. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisect the Tron out.